In this video, we are going to look at tree maps. But first, we need data. And let's go to India for that. Uh, so India is the world's seventh largest country by area. And it's also the second largest country by population. It is a tremendously diverse country where, among other things, there is a diversity of languages being spoken. So I'm going to use the languages spoken in India as a data source. And for that, let's go to a Wikipedia out here, which has the list of languages by number of native speakers in India. And scrolling down a bit, we find this data set of, I think, 31 languages. So this is as per the 2011 census in India. Uh, so I'm going to just yank this information and store it in an Excel file, like so. So here's our data set. We have language, the quantity or the number of people who speak this language, the percentage of people who speak this language, and the region in which this language is spoken. So the region has four components, north, south, east, and west. So please take this region uh, with a bit of, uh, with a pinch of salt, because it may not be entirely accurate. Right, so now that we have our data, let us log into Tableau. So here I have connected to Tableau and I point to my Excel file and it has but one worksheet. So, and here's the data from that worksheet. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is try to figure out which viz makes sense. So I have boiled down to three visualizations. So let's try the pie chart first. So let's go to the section out here and choose the pie value. So I'm going to uh, place the quantity on the size out here and the language on the color. So that distributes or breaks up my pie chart according to different proportions on the basis of language. So as you can immediately see, this is quite a colorful pie chart. In fact, it has too many components out here. I mean, the recommended number of components within a pie chart is considered uh, under five, uh, basically, but this has many more. So let's add some labeling to this pie chart. So here we are, the different languages. And also let's look at it in presentation mode. Okay, so again, you can see this is not the best viz. In fact, we could do better. So let's go back and uh, rename this first sheet. Let's call it pie. And we are going to go to another worksheet out here and create a bar chart. And let's see how that looks. Okay, and for that, I'm going to select bar out here and then drag the language onto rows and drag the co quantity onto columns, like so. So now let's sort things in descending order and let's also add a label to it. And let's see how it looks in, a pre in presentation mode. Okay, so I have a decent sense of which are the languages uh, which are very popular. Uh, I could, I can immediately see that Hindi is definitely very, very popular. In fact, it's being spoken by more than 500 million people. That's quite a large number. And I could see, on the other hand, uh, Tripuri is spoken by close to a million people. So almost Hindi is 500 times m more widely spoken than Tripuri. And that explains the size of the bars out here. Uh, so let's say I want to find out the regions in which these languages are spoken. So let's see what we can do there. So let's go back and pick up this region dimension and drop it onto color. And let's go back into presentation mode. Okay, so now things are a bit more complicated. Okay, as you can see, our regions are quite, uh, distributed. They are not uh, grouped together. Okay, so even though I can see uh, what languages are widely spoken and what are not so. But if I'm basing things on region, I see my regions are quite spread out. So now let's go to the third type of visualization, which is a tree map. So again, we go back and uh, create a, go to a third worksheet and we'll call this tree map, right? And for that, I will select the square out here. And the first thing we will do is drag the quantity onto the size and drag the language onto color. Uh, 
So rather than language, I'm going to drag a region onto the color. And now we can immediately see we have four regions grouped together. But let's break that according to language. So I will take the language and drop it onto this label out here. And you can see that each region is now broken down into language. And let's also throw in the quantity field. Great. Okay, so now what we are seeing is we have a grouping of region, uh, but we have lost the sense of uh, size really which the bar charts gave us but the good news is we can our regions are grouped together so I can again immediately see that Hindi is the large most popular language but which is the second most popular language it's not immediately evident okay so I need to strain my eyes a bit but the grouping is spot on. We also see that some not all of the boxes are labeled uh, because of the size so that's one drawback out here. Okay, but the good news is that everything is uh, is bundled under one rect in, into one rectangle and they are nested together and they are grouped by region. Okay, now I want to end this video by doing one more thing. I want to allow the user to select how many languages they see. So basically I'm going to uh, create a parameter called top n where the user selects n, so basically top 10 or top 5 languages, and I give the user an option for selecting a range between 1 and 10 for the number of languages they wish to see. Okay, so there's our parameter, and let's display this parameter. A few more things needed. I'm going to add language to the filter and go to this option top and I'm going to say top by field and rather than 10 I'm going to use the parameter out here and it will be based on the sum or the quantity okay so here we have top one so we just have Hindi top two top three you get the idea and again as you can see the groupings are quite spot on Great. So now let's go finally and view things once again side by side in presentation mode.